What's up everyone, it's Lars Wolf and the multi-purpose racer is not sitting behind me or next to me. Uh, this morning I was getting ready to go to work and I just got an email notification from UPS saying that a package that I've been waiting for has finally been uh, dropped off at the front doorstep. Didn't even hear it, the UPS guy didn't even knock today, he just dropped and run, I guess they're busy, whatever. But uh, I've been waiting for this uh, box for a few days now. Um, I've been working on it since October, a SEMA this past year. And so I thought I'd bring you guys in and do an introduction of a new sponsor that we're gonna be using on the Empire 2.0. So uh, let's go grab the box off the front step and I'll show you what's going on. Yep, there it is. So. Yeah, you all know, we all love it when the, the automotive parts Santa Claus shows up and drops off a, a package for us kids at heart, right? All right, so what do we got going on? Well, um, as many of you know, I have on the MPR 1.0 and on the 2.0, I've been using the stock ECU as the engine management system for the, these projects. Um, and and all the modifications we've been doing in the engine has all been done with the uh, stock ECU. So I'm gonna check on that tripod here. Because we have the tripod in the shop at all times to do some filming, right? Anyways, um, yeah, so we've been using the stock ECU with an uprev software uh, that you can buy uh, out on the market. And it does really good for what we were doing with the car, but now we're getting to the point where we need much more expandability. We mean, need much more versatility um, than what the OEM ECU can provide. So um, I didn't have many options to go with and after a lot of research, uh, I visited SEMA this past October and I went straight to these guys first. Um, so after explaining to them the project, they were super stoked to be involved. And after a few months of going back and forth, they finally sent me an email here a couple days ago saying I had a box of goodies on the way and here it is. So who are we going with? We are going with uh, Link Engine Management co uh, uh, Company out of New Zealand. So uh, without further ado, let's go see what we got, shall we? So we got that there and that there. All right. Okay. We've got some wrapping paper. It's always good. Let's put this down here, shall we? Now, first things first, the ECU bubble wrap for later. Lots of fun in the office, right? And we what you see, we got the G4 plus GDI uh, engine management system. This thing is uh, specifically designed for direct injection engines like we have on the MPR 2.0. So that's fortunate, right? So that's been the big deal with this whole project that I wanted to find a uh, standalone engine uh, control module that had the capabilities of tuning direct injection, which can be tricky. Um, but, let's see, oh wow, yeah, look at that, that's nice. It's heavy, it's a nice quality piece, all made out of metal. Let's see, there we go, nice uh, connectors there, expand ports, and what else do we get in the box? We got a bracket for mounting it, and we got a quick start, quick start guide to get us going. Oh, and we got a tuning cable. So, uh, we're gonna have to be taking this to the tuner to get it, uh, all the, the nuances figured out, but this is gonna give us the ability of launch control, anti-lag, changing the maps, fuel maps, everything. So this is a huge piece with creating that versatility that we wanted to. We can bring stuff in, we can have multi-outputs, all kinds of stuff with this thing. It's great. So, um, yeah, big step forward there. So, but as well as we're working with Link is, they just don't provide ECUs. They provide everything that you need to get that ECU up and running. So that's uh, in addition to what we got here in the box. So what do we got? We have a uh, pressure sensor for the oil because we're gonna be monitoring all the engine vitals and displaying those on a dashboard that we have currently in the car. Um, we have a coolant and oil pre uh, temperature sensors. Let's see what else we got. We have a four bar map sensor. Now they make uh, two, three, four, five, six bar uh, sensors. So whatever your application is, I'm sure they, they have the sensor for you. We have a knock sensor. We're gonna be using their knock sensor because we're gonna be tuning this thing right to the limit of its ignition timing. So that's where all the secret and the horsepower is being able to get as much uh, ignition advance as possible. Uh, what else we got? We've got Intake air temp sensor is going to kind of help take the place of the mat, the restrictive mass airflow sensor that we have to currently use on the 
on the car. So that's gonna help that go away along with some other parameters too. So um, the last sensor that we have is the Bosch uh, wideband oxygen sensor. Now the, the ECU has a full capability of monitoring air fuel ratio and helping us get the most out of our fueling as possible. So that's a huge step forward too. Um, compared to the, the factory ECU. The factory ECU does have a wide band, but mm, anyways. The last thing we have, the last couple things we have, we have here a dash uh, loom. Now what this is gonna be able to give us to do is the expandability later. Uh, East, uh, Link is coming out with a new dash and um, we're gonna hopefully be able to use that at that time when it's released. And this is one cable, plug in the back of the ECU, plug in the dash, and we're done. No crazy looms and harnesses everywhere, so it's gonna be kind of a plug and play thing, so that's gonna be nice. We'll keep on, we'll hold on to that. The last thing are these two harnesses. They call them their A and B harnesses that are required for their ECUs. Um, now, they do have all the wire, connectors, terminals, everything for you make your own custom harnesses, but I thought this would help uh, speed the process up a little bit to make sure that this is installed before our first event coming up at the end of March. So, yeah, um, there it is, that's everything. That's everything in the box. There we go, everyone. Thanks for joining me today on the announcement between Link ECU and Lars Wolf Racing and the Multipurpose Racing Project 2.0. You can also check these guys out online at linkecu.com. There you're gonna find a lot of information about what they have to offer. They've got a lot of uh, standalone plug and play ECUs for uh, Subarus, Mitsubishis, Nissans, and a lot of other manufacturers, so check them out. They also got everything that they're gonna, you're gonna need to get one of their standalone ECUs up and running on your project, so yeah, it's worth a look. Um, as well as if you have any other uh, questions or comments about what I've got going on here on any aspect of the car for that matter, Leave them in the comments below, direct message me, instant message me, whatever. Uh, get that question to me and I'll get you taken care of as fast as humanly possible. I wanna finish up this video with a huge welcome and thank you to the Link ECU team in New Zealand and here in the United States. Uh, I'm super stoked to be part of your team and we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up and I'm glad to be doing it with you guys. So thanks and welcome. As always, everyone, hit that subscribe button, like, follow, share, give me a thumbs up, tell me what I'm doing right, tell me what I'm doing wrong. I appreciate the input from you guys. And as always, everyone, thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you guys at the racetrack. Take care.